Far beneath these clouds lies the National Ignition Facility, located at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in Livermore, California. It will be the world's largest and highest energy laser system when completed in March 2009. Containing 192 laser beams, NIF is being built to explore controlled nuclear fusion and the physics of extreme energy densities and pressures. 85 feet tall, the laser and target area building is the size of three football fields. Inside are two parallel laser bays, each containing 96 beam lines. In this animation, which is millions of times slower than real time, we will follow the route of one bundle of laser beams, or eight beams, through the facility to the target chamber. Here you see the path of the beam line highlighted in red. The laser beams are created in the master oscillator room, where a precisely shaped, low energy laser pulse is generated, split into multiple beams, and sent through fiber optic cables to the preamplifier modules, where it is amplified up to 10 billion times. From there, the beams travel up into the beam lines that carry them through the facility. First, they encounter the power amplifier, which has five glass slabs that are energized by powerful flash lamps that begin to boost the energy of each of the laser beams. Then they travel to the main laser cavity that directs laser light back and forth four times through the 11 sets of laser amplifier glass in the main amplifier system, giving the laser beams another boost of energy. During this time, optical components ensure that the beams maintain their required pulse shape, wavefront quality, and spatial uniformity. On the final pass through the optical switch, the laser light is allowed to exit and travel back through the beam lines and up to the power amplifier once more to pick up even more energy before heading down the long stretch to the switch yard. The energy of the laser beams is increased a quadrillion times as they travel more than 1,000 feet from the master oscillator room through all of the laser amplifiers. In the switch yard, the parallel bundles of beams are rearranged into a spherical configuration so they can be focused into the center of the target chamber from many directions. Here you see the eight beams split into two groups of four beams each, one group traveling up and the other traveling down, heading for equidistant entry points on the target chamber. Finally, the beams pass through the final optics assemblies, which convert the original infrared laser light to ultraviolet, and then converge on the hall room, the size of a pencil eraser, generating a bath of X-rays that cause the tiny target to implode and ignite in a controlled, self-sustaining fusion reaction. <laughs>